forced entry. The door has a buzzer. Place sells old coins, antiques, statues. How about a 56 Willie Mays? <laughs> Nothing that good. Stephen Campbell, 50 years old, the owner, smashed in the back of the head hard about 10 p.m., judging by the body temperature. With this, a nice green glass Tiffany lamp. Or likely this, blood and tissue. Unless these tired eyes deceive me. It's part of a match set. No, he picked it up when he came here. Spur of the moment. Well, he didn't forget to take souvenirs of his visit. But look what he left behind. And why not take this stuff? Solid gold, Anno Domini 1742. So he wasn't a master thief. Some junkie stuffs his pockets and runs. These are the most valuable things out here, some rare Dutch ducatunes. Not even locked. In here, it really doesn't make much sense. Some Weimar commemoratives are gone, worth maybe 2,000 total, but right here, look, three Maximilians. Valuable? 10,000 each. Brother, can you spare a Maximilian? Oh, my. What now? There should be 40 coins on consignment from Richard Peterson here. Richard Peterson, the guy who rented out Giant Stadium? Yes, he and Mr. Campbell did a lot of business together. They talked at least once a day. My whole business started with coins. Lincoln pennies in the third grade. High school, I was the fat kid at the coin show at the Hilton. I bought my first building using Alexandrian tetradrachmas as collateral. This like the ones Campbell was holding for you? No, he had my prized Greeks and Romans. Constantine's, Cleopatra's, Alexander the Great's. Superb conditions. Audrey, bring these officers the list we gave the insurers. Well, at least you're insured. Yeah, for the money. These coins, they're like my children. So how many people knew you'd adopted them? Well, for that, you'd have to look at the uh, latest issue of Homage magazine. Yeah, they did a profile. I'll be back next week. I can go email him if you want. Oh, no, that's OK. You must be looking for a different Chad Markham. I'm Chad Markham III. Were you at the Campbell Gallery last week? Yeah. Was this about that murder? You know who did it? Oh, we're working on it. If you're talking to me, you must be nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what were you doing there? Um, I collect coins, mainly silver Athenians, but a few Corinthian staters. Wanted to see the Peterson collection. It's supposed to be the best Athenians anywhere. Yeah, well, I hope they measured up to your expectations. I never got to see him. Mr. Campbell said they're out being appraised. Campbell advertised some 17th century Ferdinand and Isabella's. Did you buy them? <laughs> no. He wanted high retail. I'll wait for an auction. You didn't also see some rare Greek and Roman coins there, did you? The Peterson collection? I asked. Mr. Campbell said they were out with a potential buyer, Mark Lehman. The gallery records say the coins were in the safe. Nothing about a sale. Any paperwork from international shippers? Campbell sent a lot of stuff to Europe, nothing to Asia. But he made up three different excuses to avoid showing those coins to interested customers. They weren't in that safe. They... But he was Peterson's best friend. But he needed money more than he needed a pal. You know, those aren't the kind of goods you just sell to Vinnie the Fence. I'm going to put this stuff on the wire to Interpol. But if Campbell sold the coins, they went to someone discreet with a very private vault. Well, what's the fun in that? No bragging rights. Oh. Some people just like to hold them. Oh, yeah, and think about how Socrates used them to buy a kielbasa. I take it your friend's not a collector. What was the word on Campbell? Respectable. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was a little short of money. A few months ago, we had an auction for gold Napoleons, big estimated values. He didn't even get the reserves. Had to take them all back home. How do you think Peterson reacted to hearing that the guy holding his prize coins was about to have his assets seized? I guess his first reaction was losing his memory. He told us Campbell didn't have any financial problems. I'd give my prize coins the hell off the premises. If my buddy didn't give them to me because he didn't have them anymore? Yeah, and if it meant having to give up my 747, I think I'd be a little upset. Uh, you can leave, too. You know, Mr. Peterson, even though you are a taxpayer, technically, we don't actually work for you personally. Search warrant. Searching for what? I'm the victim, remember? My coins were stolen, my friend was killed. Speaking of coins, Deutschland, 1928. You're the expert. 
Are these Weimar commemoratives? You said he didn't have any financial problems. He wouldn't, and he didn't. Yeah, but you said even if he did. Why would I kill a friend over 3% of my net worth? Leverage, Peterson. It was collateral for part of one loan for the airline that was part of your transportation holding company, which was financed up to your eyebrows. So you pull out one brick from that wall, it comes crashing down, you gotta go back to collecting Lincoln pennies. Ray, 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 do me a favor. Go to business school for a couple years before you explain my financing to me. Hey. Campbell's assistant identified the German coins as a cheap one stolen from the gallery, and Leighton got Peterson's prints from a securities dealer license. They matched the prints in the safe inside and out. Miss Ross, just in time. Richard Peterson? You know this guy? I've met him. He's rich. Well, with the evidence we have, if he's Ricky Peterson of East 111th Street, we'd arrest. Golly gee, Richard, you're under arrest for the murder of Stephen Campbell. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Two million dollars bail. It's gotta be a record. He can afford it. Didn't he charter the Concord and invite his hundred best friends for a birthday party? 110, including the mayor and three congressmen. You mad you weren't invited? Or are you trying to impress them with this absurd prosecution? Just doing my job, prosecuting a murderer. I didn't kill Stephen. No, you just left your fingerprints all over the safe. Well, what, 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 don't you people listen? We did business together. I was at the gallery all the time. And the German coins the police found in your apartment? Payment on a bed. <laughs> Stephen thought Claudius invaded England in 46 AD. <laughs> I picked up the coins the day before. And hid them in your sock drawer. <sighs> So he'll plead to uh, unusual storage in the first degree on the murder charge. Not guilty. Do you have any idea who owned Peterson's Cleopatra's before he did? Well, only three sets of that quality are described in the literature. One in the Dutch Lands Museum, another belonged to the Rothschilds, and a third in a private collection, Isidore Schoenberg of Munich. As of when? 1935. The Lanz Museum still has their Cleopatras, and a Rothschild nephew just displayed theirs at a show in Lille, which leaves Isidore Schoenberg. A Jew in Germany in 1935? What are the odds he survived the Nazis? 100%. I call the INS. Isidore Schoenberg, displaced person, landed in Ellis Island in 1948. Six years later, he joined the New York Numismatics Club. He's here? He was. He's dead. But I checked the white pages. Mrs. Isidore Schoenberg still lives in Washington Heights. Isidore survived Auschwitz. What happened to his coins? Well, he went back to the bank, but he had no documents, so he was turned away. That's when he started writing letters? For 40 years. It was an obsession. You say these coins were stolen in a murder? Mm -hmm. I told him, Isidore, stop. They tried to defeat us, but, but we beat them. <laughs> we, we lived. We had a child. Mrs. Schoenberg, did you ever call a man named Richard Peterson about the coins? No. If they were at my feet, I wouldn't bend down to pick them up. You said you had a child. <clears throat> Judith very talented artist. Her name is Judith Schoenberg? No, she keeps her former husband's name, Sandler. She works as an art restorer. We know why you went to the Campbell Gallery. You lied to the police. Do you mind stepping back a little? I, I don't feel well. We could all just go inside. No. We don't like it when you lie to us. It makes us suspicious. I, I don't want to talk about this. Hey, you told us you felt just awful about poor Mr. Campbell. I want you to go away. Just a quick look. You're not going to find anything. Are you almost done? The article on Peterson. You a fan of his? I want you to leave now. Look at this. Ground in green glass. Same as the broken lamp at the crime scene. Is that where this came from, Miss Sandler? No more questions. Turn around, please. Jude Sandler, you're under arrest for the murder of Stephen Campbell. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, and will be used against you in a court of law. 